Alessandra, what do we know the president will look at? First of all, this is a largely ceremonial role, but actually he comes onto his own when a, a new prime minister is proposed. Would he say yes to the law professor of Florence, uh, or would he be worried about a budget shortfall? Right. Well, we know uh, we don't know for sure if it's uh, this this man Conte, but it looks very very likely. Um, he, he's likely to say yes because Conte is a law professor. He is an experienced person. He speaks a few languages. Uh, we looked at his CV, a stint at Yale University at some point. Um, so he has no reason to refuse him if indeed it's Conte. Um, and then the thing is, there are several passages in Italy. So what happens next is tomorrow probably the president confirms Conte if indeed it is Conte, and then they talk about the program. They talk Talk about the ministers. Um, so the president has say over the ministers and has say over uh, the budget. Uh, those are issues that he can discuss, and that's where they can get into trouble because he can block some laws. Alessandro, do we know who the, the prime minister would surround himself with? I mean, do we already have names about the interior minister, the economy minister, the foreign minister? Yes. Well, we think, of course, this is the thing. Um, because this is a coalition of two parties that didn't run together in elections, um, the two leaders want to have a huge role. So is this man going to be a puppet? That's a huge question. And uh, what role would the two leaders have? So we think, as far as we know so far, that um, Di Maio, leader of the Five Star Movement, will probably have an expanded labor slash uh, <laughs> economic development ministry, because that's dear to their hearts. And the League, which is anti-immigrant, uh, will probably have the interior ministry because that way they can pass measures that they're uh, very that are very important to them so this prime minister will have two very powerful ministers you know breathing down his neck um, how much are they taking a leaf out of you know President Trump's populism I know when the French finance minister yesterday was saying you know Italians need to be careful not to uh, you know put the uh, European Union in jeopardy I think the head of the Lega said well Italians first Yes, and they are, they're very nationalistic. Um, you know, the Lega started off as a, a regionalist party, but they sort of expanded that concept to the nation. And, and there is some of that there. Um, we'll just have to see. I mean, uh, some analysts are saying, well, they, their program is quite scary if they implement it totally and, and you know, as a block, the way it, it reads. But who knows? They might. This is Italy. Everything is complicated. Everything moves slowly because you, need, you have tons of checks and balances. Uh, you know, after fascism, we, we put in so many checks and balances that things don't run sometimes. So it's possible that the program will be implemented in part in a way that isn't too harmful, let's put it that way, to the economy.